hey guys welcome to my channel today I would like to talk to you about the Donkian scanner and arrows indicator which is available on my website for purchase this Donkian breakout strategy it's very useful for scalping as well as binary options trading and the best time frames to use this are M5, M15 and M30 the M1 time frame it's too unpredictable so I would not recommend using it with that once you purchase it you will get this arrows indicator for download the arrows indicator has these up and down arrows when the signal occurs it also has these debug values to show you why a signal is ignored and finally it also shows you the win and the loss numbers as well as the percentage for binary options and the scanner is free to download this is what it looks like but the scanner it needs the arrows indicator it needs this file to work so you have to make sure that both the arrows and the scanner are in the same directory and arrows demo it will only work in strategy tester so that you can try it out you can try out the different settings and all the settings that the arrows indicator has those are the same settings that we have in the scanner and so you can use the set file for the arrows indicator inside the scanner and the scanner set files into the arrows indicator they are interchangeable all the information for all the downloads are on my website I will share this link in the description box below now finally let's begin with the strategy so the very first thing that it checks for is the Donkian channel break let me go over to MetaTrader and let me show you how it works so whatever settings we have in the scanner let me just save those settings in a set file and I'll just call it uh, one dot set now I can use these exact settings I've already opened up this pair because it is giving me a good percentage on M30 time frame and this is the template that you will have on my website you can download this template from over here right here these are all the extra indicators and this is the sample template and once you purchase the arrows indicator then you can just put that on the chart and let me load the settings from the scanner and just press OK so let's first talk about the Donkian channel these channels whatever period we set for the Donkian channels right here by default the period is 20 bars so Donkian channels are the past 20 bars high and low values and that's how the channel is made and whenever price reaches a new high that is called the Donkian channel breakout and same way when the price reaches a new low that is the Donkian channel bearish breakout let me turn everything false in the arrows indicator so that you can see just the Donkian breakouts and let me also uh, this is the minimum jump that we are looking for the minimum jump in points right here so let me also if you remove all of these values then it will look for each and every jump and I'll also remove this range I'll explain that in a minute so as you can see we have a lot of up and down jumps for each and every breakout now we are more interested in the higher jumps with good volume and we are also interested in the number of points that this jump takes which is why we can set the minimum distance inside the arrows indicator the values which we had earlier so as you define this these are all point values and these are all the time frames so for M5 time frame the minimum jump should be at least 10 points for M15 we have 30 right now we are on M30 so the minimum jump it looks for is 60 points 
now if you want to determine this jump yourself then just go over to the crosshairs tool and uh, look for this jump the jump between two bars like right here and just go over right here so this is the second value 112 this is the jump that the Donkian channel has made and that is greater than 60 so it is only looking for those kinds of jumps if I reduce that value like instead of 60 suppose if I just take 20 then you will see that it will look for a lot more signals but these are all not very good signals because even for very small jumps it is allowing an up arrow and as you can see the percentage has lowered so let me go back to 60 points for M30 and as you can see the percent is a lot better and the number of signals that we get is much lesser because those are good signals and you can also change the maximum passed bars that you are scanning for by default it's at 500 let me go to at least a thousand bars please note that it's better to set it to a lower value in the scanner because in the scanner we are more interested in the newer signals and we are interested in what has just happened and not the signals from a long time ago which is why I set it to something like 500 because the scanner has to make a lot of these uh, complex binary option calculations and if you select too many bars like a thousand or two thousand then the scanner might be very slow so just set it to 500 bars in the scanner the next setting that we can use to limit the Donkian signals is the tight range so let me show you what a tight range looks like like uh, right after we have a range where the Donkian channels are very close together the breakouts right after that those are some very good breakouts like right here we have a very small range where the Donkian channels came together and right after that there is a strong volume breakout so we are interested in signals like that we can look for at least three or at least five bars right before that breakout happens and you can set that value right here so it, if I set this to at least three bars and for M30 we have 400 points of distance between the two channels so right before a breakout it will look for three bars within this 400 point distance so let me press OK and let me go to the crosshairs tool so right here this distance is 258 and if I set that to a lower value if you are scalping and if you want that distance to be very low if you want very tight range then you can set to a lower value if I uh, set it to 200 it will remove these signals and it will give you very few signals but those signals will be very strong breakouts let me go back and set it back to 400 and if you don't want to check for tight range then you can always set this to 0 in that case it won't check for this and it will show you all the signals the next thing that we check for is high volume bars and as you can see when we don't have very high volume price might go up and then price might reverse and for binary options we are looking for signals where price goes up and it keeps going up and uh, because of that we look for high volume bars like right here this one so I'll just set that to true volume check by default the number of bars for volume check is 1 so it will only check the bar which did the actual breakout and it won't check the bars before that 
but if I set this to say 3 then it will check for high volume for this breakout bar and it will also check the previous three bars and if any of these bars has a good high volume then it will give that signal let me set this back to 1 and you can also select whether you want strong volumes or whether you also want medium volume so this green candle it indicates a strong bullish volume and right here this blue candle or this blue candle it indicates medium volume bullish and the same way these red candles they indicate bearish strong volume and these purple candles they indicate medium bearish volume by default this medium candle volume this is set to false so now that we have turned on this volume check let's take a look at the percentage so we have a much better percentage now now that we are only checking for volume bars and bars which have no strong volume those signals will go away and right here you will get debug messages on why a particular signal was ignored if these debug messages aren't relevant to you if they are getting in the way then you can always turn them off by selecting this show debug text you can set this to false and these debug messages they will go away and you will only see the signals and if you are only interested in these up and down arrow signals if you are not using binary options then you can always remove these tick marks you can set this to false and you can also set this win and loss panel to false if you are only interested in scalping now these volume candles and this donkian channel indicator this is also available for download right here you can download it from here and the other indicators that we use those are already MT4 inbuilt indicators the MA and the ADX so you don't need to download a separate EX4 for that so we are only interested in signals which are definitely trending and so to check that trend we use this 100 period moving average and you can also set the moving average to your liking by default we use the simple moving average but you can select exponential or whatever you like and you can also set the period and if I set the MA check to true then we just take a look at the percentage so that improves the percent a little better and it reduces the number of signals because for buy it will look for signals which are above the moving average and for sell it will look for signals below the moving average and you can also set whether you want the signals open or close bar above the moving average so you can set that price check by default we have the close price suppose this bar had started below the moving average but it closed above it in that case also it will give the signal but if you set this to open price in that case it will only look for signals which opened and closed above the moving average I'll just set it back to close and the next setting that we look for is the ADX this purple line right here and you can set the ADX threshold by default we have it at 25 and the ADX period so for 25 it will look for signals which are above this 25 level and like signals like this and suppose a signal occurs when this purple line is below 25 in that case it will ignore those signals right now for this pair it doesn't make much difference but ADX is just as good as this moving average because it will only give us signals which are currently trending and another thing that I would like to tell you is this second value so the first value shows you how many wins and how many losses and this second value it shows you the consecutive losses and the consecutive wins 
for binary options that is very important if you are using uh, something like martingale to manage your trades for money management you don't want many consecutive losses and if a pair even if it gives a good percentage value but if you see that the consecutive losses are like 3 or 4 in that case you should be careful if you are using martingale with that right so going back to the settings the next setting that we have which is optional all of these settings are actually optional the main setting donkian breakout that's the main signal and everything else is optional so the next one we have is HDF MA alignment if this is set to true then we can specify the number of higher time frames that we are looking to check and the MA period for those higher time frames like suppose if you set it to 200 then it will check for next two higher time frames we are on M30 so it will check H1 and H4 and for buy signals the price on H1 and H4 that should be above this moving average let me set that back to 100 and press OK so as you can see the percentage it went even better we had uh, we had 69 point something now we have 72 but HDF alignment the higher number of time frames that you check for those will limit the signals a lot so you should be careful using that for binary options and if you are scalping then using HDF alignment it's much better because you're looking for better trends during scalping and for binary options you are more interested in the next few bars and you can also set the binary option expiry bars like if we only use one bar so you can just uh, look at the percentage for just one bar we have a lot of failed signals and I would recommend to keep this expiry bars at at least two in that case you will have much better signals for arrows indicator you also have settings for this particular panel you can change the the X and Y positions you can change the width and height the font size and finally the colors for all of this and the background color and you can also set the alerts that you would like to have by default this detailed journal logs is true and this is very useful because we are interested in why a particular signal is being ignored uh, let me show you this log so in the journals panel you will get all of these values like which particular bar which signal was ignored so this signal was skipped because it didn't have high volume this on 473 bar it was skipped because MA was not aligned and so you can look at the journal logs and you can find out the reason why a signal is being ignored by default it will give you pop-up alerts and everything else is false but you can set push notifications emails or file alerts to true so I think that's pretty much it for the arrows settings and I'll go over the scanner settings one by one just the extra settings so you have a better idea of using the scanner you can select the presets that you would like now if you are using all 28 pairs then I would suggest that you don't keep too many charts open because MetaTrader it always works with limited memory so even if you have a lot of free RAM MetaTrader will only use a limited amount of memory and so this particular scanner it needs to do a lot of binary options calculations and for all 28 pairs and even if we use three time frames and if you are studying at least 500 past bars then it needs a lot of memory so just be careful about that if you're getting memory errors then you can reduce the number of past bars that it calculates or you can reduce the number of bars that you're scanning for in the tight range suppose if I set this to something like 10 or 20 
then for each of these 28 pairs and three time frames it needs to calculate the past 20 bars for all of these 500 bars to find the range and so it might take a lot of time so just be careful about these values and if you are interested in using your own pair list like if you are using Bitcoin then you can specify that or if you are using stocks or whatever your broker provides then you can use your own pair list right here and for time frames I would suggest that you stick with these M5, M15 and M30 and don't try the M1 time frame because that won't give you good results and right here you can specify your own template and you can write you know donkian.tpl or just the template name without the .tpl and whenever you click on a particular button it will open that template on the new chart and if you have open orders and if you set this to true then it will highlight that particular pair name if the order is for buy then it will highlight it to green for sell it will highlight it to red and this setting weight bars after signal if you set this to 5 then after a particular buy or a sell signal it will wait for at least 5 bars before it looks for a new signal and all the other settings are exactly the same as we saw in the arrows indicator and finally we have the percent threshold so by default we have this at 70 so any of the pairs which have a percentage which is higher than 70 in that case it will highlight that particular block you can set the percent highlight color right here and if you have a buy or a sell signal for the last bar in that case it will give you these highlighted blocks and these bearish colors and bullish colors these are this win and loss these colors and the neutral color this is for the percentage and for binary options always remember that different pairs perform better based on the time of day so during different times different pairs will give you better values so just be careful that you are trading when the percentage is pretty good and when you are getting the total number of signals those are better like right here for 100 percent we only have one signal or right here 100 percent we have only two signals so be careful whereas for this we have at least six signals and the consecutive losses there is just one loss whereas if you go for percentages like this one it's low percent and the consecutive losses are three so be careful while trading pairs like that so yeah I think that's pretty much it this is very good for your binary options trading if you read the scanner properly and it's also very good if you are scalping and all of this information everything that I've shown you just now that's on my website all the settings are explained I have also explained what type of signals you should avoid so suppose if the break is too strong but the price reaches too far in that case be careful because right after a bar like that the price might retrace and another signal you need to be careful about is if that break is like a pin bar even though this is a bearish signal pin bar usually indicates that a reversal might be coming so be careful with that and another thing that you should be careful about is when the market is too choppy and it feels very unpredictable that usually happens near news events if you get a buy signal right here be careful so I think I've covered everything and everything is also on my website right here so I would suggest that you go through 
all of this detailed description and also try out the arrows indicator demo in strategy tester one time before buying so that you can become familiar with all the settings and the scanner will only work for the arrows indicator once you've purchased it but the scanner has the exact same settings as the arrows indicator yeah I think that's it thank you so much guys for watching and I really hope that you enjoy using this let me know what you think in the comments below yeah thanks so much for watching guys have a nice day